So I got a question for you, and this question might be kind of controversial for some people, but let me ask you anyways. My question today is, is Zillow unethical? Give me a minute and let me explain why. But first, my name is Tom Gruccio, Realtor with Remax Beyond 2000. Go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share, show me some love. Thanks for following along. So I posed the question, is Zillow unethical? And, and what do you think? Let me backtrack a little bit and explain how Zillow works. So Zillow, the way it makes money, among some other ways I'm sure, they provide leads to real estate agents. So when you look at a house and you click, you wanna schedule a tour or talk to an agent, it sends you to one of their agents that pays monthly, in some cases thousands of dollars a month, to receive that lead from you. So the, the reason I ask the question about are they unethical is because Zillow intentionally does not change their houses listed on their site from active to under contract when they do indeed go under contract. And many of you have noticed, because I get this question all the time, why does it say active on Zillow when it is indeed under contract? Well, it comes down to money. When, when someone clicks on that house, it sends it to one of their, their agents who then gets the lead, they pay for those leads, and that's how they make their money. So by keeping it active, they're getting more clicks on the house because obviously, if it's so under contract, less people would be clicking it. So, is that unethical? I don't know, what do you think? Is intentionally withholding some information in order to gain financial value unethical? Well, that's my question to you. Or is it good business practice because it partners you up with an agent who hopefully is going to have your best interest and be working for you as a buyer's agent? So let me show you an example. Here's a property that's listed and it's currently under contract. But you see, when we go over to Zillow, it's marked as active. So this as a home shopper is a problem because you're clicking through wasting your time checking out houses that are under contract. And yeah, there is a possibility a house could fall out of contract and go back on the market. But if your site is updating properly, it will show you whether it's on the market or under contract. So as a home shopper, this can be very frustrating for some people. So what Zillow does really well is their is the layout of their site, their search. It's really easy, it's really user-friendly. So the pro is it's really easy and user-friendly. The con is you have no idea if it's accurate because in most cases it isn't. So what I aim to do is create a site that incorporates the two that brings you the best of both worlds. So what I'd like to present to you guys today is my brand new website, www.realtyincle.com. Now my website is directly connected to the MLS and is updated in live time, which means if you're searching on my site, you will never show something that's active that is under contract or under contract that is active. It is up to date real time. When designing my website, I also wanted to make sure that the search was easy, user friendly and accurate. And so that's what I've done. Go check it out. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment. Let me know. Is Zillow unethical or not? What do you think? I'm really curious to know how you guys feel. I'm really curious to know what search engines you use. Drop a comment, let me know.